Halo selamat datang di konten game bola mania mantap, perkenalkan dongeng Maman Cilung yang adalah anak seorang pengusaha Cigulung asal negeri Pizza Italia yang memiliki cita-cita membawa klub dan timnas yang dibelanya menjadi tim yang bergelimang tropi serta menjadi pemain bola paling tersohor seantero dan sejagat alam dunia. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how Juventus will line up. Well, in this 4-5-1, as you'd expect, it's a very compact back four. A midfield five with a mixture of qualities and a front player who will threaten the space in behind the opposition. It looks a good team to me. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three, and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4 3 3 system could work really well today. And so the match is underway. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Well, a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, in this 4-5-1, as you'd expect, it's a very compact back four. A midfield five with a mixture of qualities and a front player who will threaten the space in behind the opposition. It looks a good team to me. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. Well, as we look at the table, the opportunity very much there for the hosts to go top if they can win. Well, they've certainly had a great start to the season and they've played some really good football. Hopefully we get more of the same today. And the ball back with Juve now. Juventus were the winners when last we saw them against Cagliari. How do you think they'll fare? Well, they pushed all the way to the final whistle, but I thought it was a decent performance overall. I think they have to be favourites for the three points again today. They have far too much quality in their squad. Well, in turn, Cop Miners, there's a very reliable player, somebody who does give the team balance. Well, if he gets a chance to shoot from anywhere around the box, he will be a massive threat. His ability to hit the ball with such power is incredible. They can't afford to give him space. And they need to get tighter. Can he play it in? A 
A Juve free kick here. Cross could be useful. A deft clearance. Douglas Luiz. It's with Cop Mainers. Gatti. Bremer. And a timely intervention. And the attack looks promising. On a time for composure on the ball. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Fine piece of defending play to break us up. Akpa Akpro. Ben Rama. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Well, it's just about a case of wall to wall football live with us here on EA TV. And Stuart and I will be with you for this game coming up. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Akpa Akpro. And he's given us away. Yildiz. It is advantage, Juve. And there's the feed into the box. In position now. And he went for power and might be regretting that now. Akpa Akpro and keeping it on the ground slightly off target however Yildiz Juventus have given us away they're lifting to shoot oh well hit but couldn't keep it down. Juventus doing well to regain possession. Gatti. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, that's a fine looking pass. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. And players.
Lucas waiting in the centre. Douglas Luiz. Could be. And it's in. 1 0. They breach the defence. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They're placing great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. With that, the first half comes to an end here in Turin. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. So, the second half drama here at the Allianz Stadium. El Saeed Hussai. And intercepts again. Yildiz. It's going to be a Juve throw. Douglas Luis. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Conclude, Stuart, an opportunity wasted. Yeah, and the other players are furious with it, and rightly so. That's such a poor free kick. When Doozy. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And it is a booking, Stuart, and we can see that one coming a mile away. Well, he's been warned, so no complaints, really. Certainly close, you have to say that, but not quite close enough. Can they get in behind them? Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Nicolo Rovella. Juventus, the old lady. They know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Long way out. And couldn't quite square the game. Close. Well, it's certainly a decent effort, but not quite good enough. They still trail here. Bremer. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. But he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. Yeah. 
30 minutes to go then a foul but no whistle instead advantage Juventus Targets available, cross comes in. Well, still an issue here. Well, no way through in the end. Just cutting off the supply. to the earlier incident yellow card it is <laughs> substitution time it is here Cambiasso. This could be troublesome. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And problem solved for now. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Yes, yeah, a really up and flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. A chance to whip it in. And they'll get ready for the throw in. And the Juventus personnel change here. And he ran it well. Never really close to the goal, and it will be a goal kick. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Not showing good defensive judgment. Team emerging of wasted possession. Well, Juve, I think, deserve to be in front. They need to now see it through, but what backing they're getting from these fans. The atmosphere is electric. Tavash. On to Genduzzi. Ball's gone. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. That's gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. It's a substitution for Juventus. Crossing opportunity. In a dangerous position. Surely! Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Mainers. That's how to dispossess your opponent. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes.
Rovella. Run it well. Having to shoot. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends. I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory. in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stewart. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today. <laughs> Electing to shoot. Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. Could be. And it's in. 1-0. They've breached the defence. Just missing the target. Still in front, though. Well, it was certainly close, you have to say that. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And there's the feed into the box. In position now. Well, he went for power. 